And the reason I'm here is because, like all of these other people, or most of these other people, I'm opposing the corporate greed and the bailouts and the monopolies. And also, I think that I'm opposing the kind of racist policies that the Hong Kong government has been pursuing. So it's really a kind of a general feeling of frustration and anger against the Hong Kong government and this whole establishment of just greed and corruption. Uh, we believe Hong Kong people have been unfairly treated by the financial institution in Hong Kong. The government has been favoring uh, the financial institution for many years. Uh, those institutions uh, create huge profit for themselves, regardless of terrible management. Uh, they use Hong Kong people's money uh, to generate profit for themselves. I think it's quite remarkable in the capital of capitalism, it being you know at the at the forefront of of global banking that there is some recognition that there's injustice in the system and there hasn't been the reform that we wanted. So it's, it's great to see an even better turnout than expected here today. These rules are saying that we must continue to serve all our housing, our people, our labor, all of them must serve capital. And it is those few people, those few bankers, those few politicians who are setting these rules and all the rest of us people must serve them. If you have money, you have the freedom to choose your university. If you have the money, you have the freedom to choose what, what, where, which hospital you will go if you are sick. If you have the money, you have the freedom to choose what kind of house and where you want to live. If you have the money, you have the freedom to occupy the position in the government. But if you are poor, you have no freedom under this kind of democracy. We do not want this kind of democracy. What we want is the real democracy, genuine democracy for the people, a just and lasting peace for the people. And that is not, that is not the system that the United States is promoting. You know, especially for people who are just graduating, especially in uh, local schools, coming out of local universities, uh, for entry-level work, it's really difficult um, to make a living. And it's the entire sort of structure that, that ha has issues. And I think um, to admit that you don't know it and to come into it uh, with an open mind and be willing to ask questions and learn from people, I think it's the first step. Yeah, I mean, 15% isn't corporate tax here, that's why people come to Hong Kong uh, corporation.